Hello, good afternoon everyone. Are you ready to start a new journey with me after the last speaker sharing? Hey, I see some response, that's good. Our city's treasures mascot, Cherish, the little cats in our treasure box here, will be my tech dog buddies today with me on the slides. Today, I will share with all of you about my startup journey and stories. Let's start our journey to find the treasures in our city. I'm Vanessa Jonchuk Nim, a year three student of BBA Corporate Governance in the University, the Hang Seng University of Hong Kong here. Besides, I'm also the founder and CEO of Cities Treasures, which is a social startup founded by me and my partner Melody in 2019. Cities Treasures stand for Care and Love Our City, to suffer and preserve the treasures. Our team believe local small shops are the treasures of the city, and also because they are containing many local memories and stories. They are also the life witness of the changes and developments of Hong Kong. Also in local small shops, we are not just buying the goods, but also experiencing many different other things in Hong Kong. Many local shops in Hong Kong allow close down because they face replacement of chain stores or reduction of customer base. Therefore, City Treasures also aim to discover the local small shops that are well known by the Hong Kong public and also help to preserve their business, stories and values in the local society. In order to connect local shops, society and life, which is also our slogan to show that the close relationship between local shops, our society and personal life. I know that the theme of today's tech talk is restart. Someone may say that our life journey started when we take our first breath on daughter's hand. As time goes by, we may not stop our life journey because we cannot stop time and also stop ourselves from getting older and older. Well, I mean, become more mature. And therefore, how come we have a restart in our life journey? I think in our life journey, we need to go through many, many different small journeys, like different paths in our main road. How come we can overcome these small journeys? But I think this is easy, because more like a transport journey for an hour, a travel journey maybe for weeks, a learning journey for years, and maybe a startup journey for lifelong. Whenever we have completed a short journey or have stopped it for rest, we also need to restart and also start a new journey in our life. Therefore, I think restart is a concept we need to think about it every day. Like when you ride on a wrong bus, it's okay. You also need to consider restarting your travel journey, right? Starting a journey is not easy, but I think it's just like a startup journey. People are constantly feeling unconfident and worried to start a business some teenagers or university students always ask the questions, am I too young to have a business? Also, when some startup seniors share their difficulties and struggle to start a business, some of them may also have some arguments with their teammates. Well, at that time, you as a people who want to start your own business may be also struggling and may also think of give it up. But when you dare to take your first step, you might find it easier to move to the following steps because all things are difficult before they are easy. Therefore, try to beat all the worries and unknown behind you and just move forward. I think all the steps are not easy when I look back. But yes, I did it. We did it. Our team walked through the startup journey together with lots of tears and smile. For me, team also mean treasure every accompanying members. City Treasure looked at all friends and organization who work together with us in our activities as our team members, because we all have the same goal to make our society a better place to live. Also, because even your participation will support us for City's treasure to move forward. 
Although starting up an enterprise is not easy, starting a business is like taking care of a baby. The most significant moment for a founder will be to see the growth and also achievement of your own social startup. Therefore, I would like to share some of the key and special moments to all of you in the following time. Include a journey to look back, to see the moment when we start. A journey to look forward, to know the plan we have for the future. And also, lastly, a journey to appreciation, to say thank you. Firstly, let's have our journey to look back. To look back to the starting point of City Cheshire. My own journey related to the social concept and caring of the society and small shops began in 2016. In 2016, I was a Form 4 secondary school student. I have participated in a social listening program in my living district, Taipo, and also my Lear district, Loft district. In that year, under the social listening program, I need to have one-on-one -on -one basis interviews with different peoples, maybe including like a group of elderly, a group of mothers, or a group of teenagers, to find out and understand their social concern and social needs, about to do some social actions together to make some social change. After collecting public social concern for a year, citizens in our district emphasized the social topic of the preservation of market culture and also for the local small shops. The outcome of social listening program gave me the influence to start a small uh, social program, which is Market for Hong Kong in 2017, when I am a Form 5 student, with the concept to preserve the uniqueness of local markets and also small shops and promote human warmness. I have been chosen as one of the top five projects at that time and received a seed funding in a pitching session of a leadership training program. To look back, I think Market for Hong Kong is the most critical milestone for us, for City's treasure. And also, I believe at that time, it's the most unforgettable and also passionate time because it's our first step to start our startup journey. As I said before, this is always hard for you to start a journey. But how about a restart? Oh, I think it's much harder. After receiving the Market for Hong Kong funding in 2017, my Form 5 summer vacation, I restart my Form 6 journey. Like most of us, we need to face the first public exam, the SE. To be honest, I have never thought of restarting my plan in Market for Hong Kong at that time, at least not in a company or startup size development. But you know, this is like the restart button automatically start. In my freshman year, I have invited by three of my other classmates with the same corporate governance major to participate in the Entrepreneurship Challenge 2019 organized by HSUHK and also South China Morning Post. I have started my ideas related to preserve the uniqueness of local small shops and to promote human warmness of my team. Surprisingly, my team members and also the judging panel love my ideas. And therefore, as a team of year one students, we won the champion in the competition in over 20 teams. Therefore, the results also answer the question in my previous slides. Am I too young to have a startup? Mm, my answer is no. If you have courage and passion, there will be no boundaries that could stop you from starting your own journey. But not many journeys are smooth. Most of the time, you might need to climb up mountains and cross over different seas. And even, you might lose some of your team members at that time. And for City Treasure, yes, we also lose some of our members after the competitions. Looking back, that is a tough time and moment for me and also for City Treasures. Losing two of our team members make me feel nervous and tense. But this is always true that when one door closes and others open, so that we try hard to find new blood for our team. And luckily, three of my friends join our team with the same mission and passion. Afterwards, we move together forward with more steps together. After finishing our journey to look back, let's start our journey to look forward. In the past year, under the low tide with the social atmosphere in Hong Kong and also under the COVID-19 pandemic, 
our team plans to use a year and a half time to recognize our ideas and business model. Also, we have participated in different social startup competitions to gain more connections, ideas, and experience, to train up our team and with challenges and tasks, and ensure our team members could be ready for any time we can have a restart. We have gained more experience and advice in our journey. Everything starts from small. One of the most valuable quotes uh, we get from our mentors. This sentence guides us to choose one district as our beginning, which is finding new world markets. Because in our finding team, three of us are living in Fangnang and we have many memories in the community. We also plan to expand to the Lear districts, for example, Taipo districts and social districts in the future. To look forward, we will focus on our newly developed O2O model, which is online to offline, or maybe offline to online. I think this model is mainly talking about offline tour and online platform. We have pressed many stop and restart button in the past year when we discussed the availability of a physical tour because of the health concern under the COVID-19 pandemic. Our team have also considered having virtual tour instead of physical tour. But at that time, we would like to promote the concept of storytelling and sharing with different communications and discussion with our tour guide. Therefore, at that time, we think that virtual tour might not support multi-discussions and the conversation on the camera will not be our choice. And, and last, we have been co-organized with different NGOs at that time and organized about 20 small local tours in the past few months, successfully even under the pandemic and also under the rainy days. Our team also used the online platform, social media, and even designed some educational computer games for the public to share and promote the unique stories of small shops in our community. Under the pandemic, we have also tried to have more uh, trial, like we have one month course with some primary school students with training related to local shops, local histories, and skill to be a local tour guide. This is a new trial for our team, but I would say we have great success because at last we have got many different small local tour guides. The short journey I would like to share with you related to appreciation. That is the time for me to say thank you for different people. To start the journey to appreciation, I would like to think, I would like all of you to think of a questions. You do not need to tell me or others with your answers. The question is, what is a CEO? What is a chief executive officer? Some people say that CEO is like a brain and is the leader of a team who lead, who order and manage the team. But for me, I think a CEO is more like a heart, which you need to keep the heartbeat of your team to ensure all the team members are on the same beat and on the same speed. Also, I think a heart also needs to regulate the bus circulation to ensure your team are always in the best conditions. Most importantly, you will be the busiest one in your body or in your startup. You might need to face different things and tons of work to do mainly as a startup finder, but as the heart of a team, you might not stop. Because if the heart stop, the body falls. Therefore, if a CEO give up, that mean this is hard for a startup to move forward. Therefore, the first appreciation will be given to myself to thank you to, for me to being passionate and tough to overcome different challenges. Some of you might think that this is all rare to just thank yourself. But I think this is important to have self-appreciation before you appreciating others. Of course, the second appreciation will be given to my team members and current, also my current core team, who support me always and being the accompanying members in the startup and life journey. My friends, we have chosen the toughness journey, which is full of mountains and rocks. And we have even chosen the small me days to start. But you know, life is not easy. Although we have not finished our journey yet, but because of you all here, I think I find my clear path in the future. As I always says, 
We did not expect to have a great success, but remember, our team's purpose is to learn, to love, to cooperate with members as families, society as friends, and you as opportunities. Lastly, I would also like to thank you, our most important accompanying members, which are our small shops owner in the Wall Market. Thank you very much for being supportive to city churches and our activities. Thank you for being nice, helpful, and friendly to buyers and neighbors, which build reputation to the society and build our community memories and also the society identity. Last, I would like to say thank you to all of you here today. Thank you for giving me these few minutes to share my own journey and story with all of you. I believe stories are the most treasurable things because we all create our own stories every day. Story from journey, journey from history, and history from the community. No matter how many times you restart and how long is your journey, they are all your life chapters and stories. Be brave and also treasure every moment. Then you will be ready to restart a new journey and create a new story for yourself. Thank you very much.